What is up? What's up, guys? It's Shani here with Healing Elements to give you a timeless pick a card reading. So this is out of the Game of Thrones traditional tarot deck. We have number one, and I will put timestamps down below in the description box. So if you'd like to choose pile number one, this is it. And of course, moving on, we have pile number two. These cards are fabulous. They are traditional tarot with major and minor arcana cards. However, they, you know, are illustrated with depictions from Game of Thrones series. And we have finally pile number three for you to choose from one, two, or three. And again, I will put each pile's timestamp in the description box so that you can forward to whichever that you picked, guys. So blessings, love, and light. And we will get on with the reading for whomever needs to hear these messages, guys. And here we go, pile number one. If you chose pile number one, we're gonna get a variety of cards here and go ahead and see what you got. And intuitively, I'm really drawing with this pile that it may be a fortunate type of event um, that could be bestowed on you. And this, of course, is the queen of coins or queen of pentacles so the fortunate event could be monetary in nature you could be of course you know just getting back up on the work front the workforce or you know gotten a raise you could get an unexpected check check perhaps you are doing something on the side that would add to your income this is all about having an abundance of what you need right this is uh, the queen of thorns in the series game of thrones and she is you know attached to one of the wealthiest families one of the wealthiest kingdoms and so you will be filled with wealth if that is i always say with queen of coins although it does speak of tangible things you could be feeling much more rich in spirit much more rich and of course rich in happiness and joy you have the sun the major arcana card of jubilance of being at a pinnacle of centered being in which you can feel the you know innate power the innate solar power so to speak of our energy that is akin to the sun and its kinetic energy just a beautiful beautiful card again fortunate cards queen of pentacles queen of coins in this deck <clears throat> oh wow and the sun you also have the high priestess this is the priestess in this deck you are absolutely you know potentially you know drenching in wealth regarding spiritual knowledge you are gaining a lot of you know ancient wisdom perhaps different teachings to go on to practice you know holistic arts or anything you are feeling you know in your own sovereignty you are feeling in your own comfort zone so i guess queen of pentacles again is all about being comfortable having an abundance of what you need i think you have an abundance of knowledge and you are not being afraid of anything it is making you jubilant and would you look at that we now have the queen and the king of coins the queen and king of pentacles beautiful match talking about abundance control authority having everything that you may need to run your you know kingdom so to speak but this is perhaps with the priestess card a kingdom of your own you know intuitive guidance you are able to stand within that you know uh, knowing and be confident and authoritative actually is what i'm reading you know in that jubilance you are not going to let anyone take away the wealth of the joy that you found with these spiritual you know gifts or knowledge or wisdom so pile number one this is actually one of the most beautiful readings i've had all year it's definitely speaking of what i was channeling some good luck some beautiful energy this is the ten of cups so whether it is emotional fulfillment happy family happy life happiness that is surrounding you with that sun card major arcana this comes into play all about you know water signs of course pisces scorpio cancer that essence of being able to fulfill others by your own happiness as well as you know standing in your own happiness but sharing that and others can can reverberate it's the you know pebble in the lake and it makes reverberations and this is beautiful 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 so now you have the ace of coins ace of pentacles you have the queen and king and ace of pentacles this is advantageous this is so 
abundant for you. Hopefully you will come into some sort of tangible gift. This is something that you potentially have put in the work for. Don't forget, you planted the seeds. Now your crops will grow. You know, your trees shall bloom. And my goodness, there we have just, this is such a positive reading, you guys. Three of cups, you are going to celebrate. People are going to be happy for you because you are standing within your own happiness. Again, and sharing that emotionally just by your energy, you know, um, do as I do is your motto and it is paying off for you now. You are able to convey perhaps in your practice what you're doing, you know, again, abundance of fortune. And this is just gorgeous. The hermit is all about pulling back within yourself, being guided by a light, a force, something that is you know, outside of yourself, pulling in and having that introspection, I feel has been going on for a long time to manifest these blessings that are coming to you with that ace of pentacles, just the top of, you know, creating something this whole entire time, like a story, and then having the ending be just picture perfect. This is telling me that you have an abundance of security. I read into this as positive, although, you know, four of pentacles, four of coins can be considered to be something in which you are feeling very giving. You are feeling very generous and perhaps frivolously so. Perhaps you are feeling that you are abundant with this ace, king, and queen of coins, having everything come to fruition. Just be mindful not to, you know, give to anyone that definitely has not, you know, given you the same type of energy. So be protective at this time. Okay. And of course, here we have the page of coins. There is so many cards here that are indicative of an actual tangible change, a beautiful blessing that has or is coming into your life and is, you know, to be shared. And the high priestess and the hierophant there we go. The Hierophant is all about higher learning, teaching. So I think that you, again, by living in this, you know, state, you are living by example, showing, you know, your pupils. And that can be just anyone, you know, that you meet during the day. You are showing people how to live without, you know, preaching, basically. This is indicative, this card, the Hierophant, usually is indicative of a uh, ascended master, someone higher in the, you know, they sometimes have popes on the cards in tarot decks, but in any case, you are on fire, shining bright like the sun. You are jubilant to teach people how to stand within your own power just by doing it yourself and being happy within your soul and displaying that, you know, as the Hierophant is, as the Hierophant does. So guys, this is card and pile number one. And if you are joining us for the timestamp, this is pile number two of the Game of Thrones timeless reading for you guys and on the bottom of the deck. I already channeled something like this for you guys. That's why I'm going to pull some extra cards. It is all about emotions and the King of Cups comes up and of course standing in your own truth of your deep emotional awareness and those traumas and things that have been bubbling to the surface is something you're more than likely dealing with a lot of pain, grief, and or, you know, a spectrum of all of the above that can even include, you know, exuberance and blessings as well and epiphanies in a spiritual way that enlightens you. However, I'm feeling it for this reading that there is something, of course, yes, that you need to give a new outlook to and start to process this whole truth within you like the empress that you can give birth to a new way of being emotionally or in general a new way of being perhaps you are stained by a love interest perhaps you are jaded because of what's going on collectively and you are extremely sensitive maybe tapping into what i felt in different circumstances perhaps the you know fires that were burning in australia or california or you know the hurricane ida or Afghanistan, perhaps you are feeling collectively the discord between the COVID thing, anything that you are emotionally drawn to, including your own traumas, your own processing, any kind of interdimensional um, within you type of vibe that is truly, truly out of sorts and really deep in the mires of emotions. You can continue to feel the pain while, re you know, remaining grounded, growing stronger. The key to it is to actually feel the pain because, you know, a lot of us do know, a lot of us don't, that if we 
deny, suppress, or go about, you know, piling through, you know, driving through life, just pushing forward. And we don't deal with things that are incredibly emotionally difficult, whether they are good times or bad. We need to experience the bad in order to experience the good. So the Empress tells us you will give birth to a new way of thinking, perhaps, and... It is interesting to me that we receive the King of Cups, which has Jon Snow in the Game of Thrones. They are a couple toward the end of the series. Uh, Daenerys is pictured on the Empress card. And, you know, in order to give birth to something new, sometimes you have to sacrifice is the message. And this Four of Coins could leave you feeling extremely protective. Or maybe that is something you should be feeling protective of your own feelings. Maybe you are, you know, too much in the open right now. As far as truly, you know, maybe you've been putting your opinions and business regarding this hurt out there and it's time for you to pull back or, you know, perhaps this is a message to you, you know, letting you know that it is okay to do so. And, you know, maybe you just feel that energy that people are talking about the traumas that you're going through. But truly, if people are talking about that in a negative way, it is just simply because they are projecting onto you what they will not deal with, honestly, within themselves. And so here we have, yeah. A pattern here of four so you know not quite feeling as secure as you can be maybe overlooking something with the, the you know four of cups here talking about emotions talking about something that you are just really bothered by you are, are sort of you know stuck you are not pouting but perhaps you are you are over and over and over thinking this you know pain and it is okay to feel the pain however it would be you know overthinking and overlooking you know the epiphany you can have in this season if we get stuck on a particular like getting stuck on the particulars is what I read with that four of cups energy and here we have a perfect example of how you are more than likely feeling if you resonate with this pile this is the eight of swords feeling restricted so you might be just totally going over, you know, your ex, you might be completely feeling as if you're stuck and this is never going to, you know, move forward. You're not going to budge. You're waiting for something to give. You're waiting for something to save you. You feel persecuted. You feel like this is not going to return this pleasant feeling, this opposite of the eight of swords. So you truly need to do the, you know, get on the whole eight of cups, take a journey to, you know, eight of wands. We need to discover, we need to leave, perhaps depart, you know, from those things or people or patterns of thinking, you know, that we are going to always be in this miserable position. It is terrible and I'm not at all underestimating your pain. I know a lot of people are going through grief, suffering, a lot of really serious things have gone down. And so perfect. Yes, you need to do this go into the hermit mode see the light and nothing else reflect you know go into that self introspection place in which you can gather wisdom that is truly not in your headspace once you are in that place of a void of kind of you know in that hermit mode this is the three of wands or three of spears in the deck it's talking about a new enterprise a new beginning something that you will be taking on a very very revolutionary you know an an astute role in playing. I'm assuming this is of a new opportunity for you to, you know, break away from what is causing you so much pain. And that means dealing with whatever the trauma is, you know, dealing with coming, you know, clean with somebody, maybe having, you know, a confrontation that is about emotional, you know, understanding and give and take and understanding that there is two parties involved, which means two life paths you know, and two agendas are crossed, you know, amongst the universe together and collided, right? So this card is, yeah, you guys, you know, I know this is not a love reading, but it's turned into, I feel like a lot of you who picked number two are quite heartbroken. Honestly, this is not a card that indicates that. However, I'm just channeling that heavy for you. So a lot of tears are okay and a lot of love from me to you because it's not easy, right? Just like this energy is not easy all the time seven of pentacles or seven of coins is all about you know the same type of energy you know trying to get your point across however not being heard maybe you i feel for this reading are going to need to be convicted again resolute you know astute in your revolutionary new plan that again can come from that place of the hermit of 
you know, looking deep inside yourself and not looking toward anyone else at this time. It is to put yourself first and, you know, truly stick to your grounds exactly like this card, the priestess. Very, very sure of yourself. Very, you know, guided by what you're feeling now. If you're resonating with any of this, if you're feeling like there is some trauma, there is some heartbreak, there is something that needs to be worked on. Truly, you have the power there with the priestess and the empress both came up in the reading to give birth to feeling sovereign, feeling that you are entitled to make changes that will benefit your life path. You know, you never want to remain in misery and it's so easier said than done, but I've so many people for private readings and friends, exactly the hanged man that are going through something they feel like they will never get out of. And that's what the hanged man sometimes can feel like. But this is all about, you know, laying in rest, patiently waiting, content on the notion that there is a promise of faith that you have within your heart. And there is validity of the positive moments that you may have taken from this, right? But you need to be fierce, right? Just like this energy here. You need to stand up for your right, basically. You have to fight for your right, right? And it's not uh, easy to do when it's something dealing with something big something so sensitive as you must be dealing with so you know uh, more power to you for working through it I know it's very difficult to you know move through things that are as you know powerful and impactful on your feelings and your thoughts on a daily basis but there are a lot of things that you can do so that was pile number two and this is pile number three if you picked number three out of this timeless game of thrones tarot card reading you guys i am channeling for you that you have a lot going on so let's see what kind of energies that we can get well this is beautiful for one you must be creating a lot of beautiful you know things that are really truly all around you and will continue to surround you as you move forward this is the three of wands or three of spears in this deck a fire sign energy something very revolutionary quick and hardy and very you know swift and electrifying as far as the creation that you were able to you know put together so you're looking at either a business enterprise perhaps um, if we get some pentacles or coins that come up in this reading um, but this is something that is a creative endeavor of yours you are looking at things perhaps a different way you're maybe busy like I got the energy that you just have a lot going on on and so you are trying to just be on fire basically like that card represents and here we have the page of coins it's been coming up in a lot of readings this is all about you know a divine message or you know relaying to you from spirit or otherwise that you will be able to achieve your goals and that most you know times with these um, cards for coins, pentacles, means in your dreams as far as your financial aspirations or being taken care of, having things that you need to have as you build up to the queen, king, and ace of coins, having, you know, your surroundings and your comfort level be taken care of. And how do we do that? We do that with balance, with, you know, your energy level right now. Frankly, just everything that you have going on, if you do resonate with this, you know, card pile number three you are juggling a lot this two of pentacles or two of coins in this deck tells me that you guys just need to find a middle line you just need to know when to go so hard and when to pull back and have balance on you know work play or balance in which efforts you extend yourself to greatly over and things of that nature because sometimes I found if you push too hard you know if you are going for a goal and you have a lot of exuberance in which you must if you resonate with this reading have a lot of creative energy and a lot of drive and fire behind you right but that can lead to being too obsessed with one or the other so we need to make and find a middle ground and a theme with your reading this is the two of spears in this deck meaning the two of wands so fire energy all about a lot going on again for you and i feel like you need to go on this journey this is all about choices you have decisions 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 to make and so in order to not get overwhelmed find a middle ground with that two of pentacles two of coins balance is key knowing where to set sail like you know denarius is in that card setting sail will lead you to this beautiful i want to say that all three um piles because i used the whole deck to shuffle and do the reading this time came up beautifully with this card 
the three of cups celebrating celebrate good times come on so at the end of this road of all of this energy that you're putting into manifesting something spectacular you guys are going to end up celebrating not only with yourself but with others and they will do the same vibe as you it'll be something equal something incredibly fulfilling as far as maybe someone that is important to you who in the past perhaps the three of swords had broken your heart or maybe you had felt in the past brokenhearted due to the you know uh, failures of different ideas that you're now putting together i really truly feel that you guys are putting you know your eggs in more than one basket and that might be a good thing especially with all of the energy that is behind you at this time so if you end up being heartbroken for whatever reason if this resonates with you know that if you put your energy into manifesting things that are of the greater good that are helping you know your fellow man or collective or whatnot this will come back to you you know over and over again and the harsh energy as we see here will remain no longer this is all about drama and pettiness and so i feel as if you have so much going on that is for a great cause for your life path for something that is going to create like the fire energy that you keep on getting just an abundance of light for you i feel as if this harshness has been in the past where if people come at you just remain sturdy you know in your own sovereignty knowing what you are doing exactly will lead you to the ace of spears another fire sign victorious in all that you set out to do as long as you do it with an intent and a very very you know passionate drive fire signs are in this card is fire all about passion putting something that is more than love into their creations and i feel that that is what you're doing now and so you have so much going on however you can keep up and those you know nasty air signs maybe the swords that came up page of swords or drama queens kings drama you know you have transformed i feel like the death card the scorpio card the eighth house all about transforming letting things die away that need to die away so the haters and the feelings you had you know about your success and more particularly your failure you've transformed this whole you know goal of yours has changed for the good you have perhaps thought of different plans creative business plans or creative outlets um, that you can channel and give your time to in an affectionate passionate way that means something to you so that's how you will transform if you have not already and you will be able to celebrate like the three of cups with even your rivals i feel like that's a message for you it's, you know not that you would want to if you're not into it but i think your rivals will um secretly you'll think that of course they're jealous maybe they're throwing hate and shade but behind closed doors they are wishing you well and that sounds so strange to say but true and so this card the eight of cups all about departure so you have shown that by departing you know, either away from people, places, things that didn't have any love for your creations or your passion, right? If you have to walk away from something in order to transform, you have already done so or you're gearing toward it. You are really, really at the pinnacle. You're seeing the light now. You're down through the tunnel toward the end, the tunnel to the light. And I feel as if you have been able or you will be able to transform with all the things that you're doing now. All this passion is going to embolden you and empower you and just drive you farther and farther up the ladder of success. And this can be interpersonally or, of course, in any kind of endeavor that you have with um, a business partner or, you know, relationships also are a big theme, of course, with fire sign energy. It is the death card that really sticks out to me. You have transformed into a powerhouse that is not backing down from yes the lovers you are not backing down from what is good what is fulfilling and you could be you know putting your energy as well into a relationship this is a committed partnership a commitment so this could be a commitment to your own higher self to self-love to self-care to you know self um pride in the fact that you are not going to let any past you know um, failure of, of a creation or any you know past um, degradation or you know defiling of your character by other people you know stop you from the commitment you've made to your higher self your life path right your soul contract basically your goal your soul journey here you are not backing down and I think you're on fire now and doing everything that honestly is humanly possible in order to you know make this a reality so guys i appreciate everyone if you've 
outcome for card pile number one, two, or three for the timeless reading out of the Game of Thrones deck. I thank you. Sending you lots of love for real. There is a lot of hate out there, guys, so just stick with the love. Hopefully, if you come here and you listen, then you know that's what I'm all about. So blessings, love, and light, guys.